She is an influential voice in the paleo and Whole30 community. She's also the founder of the popular food blog, The Defined Dish. New York Times bestselling author Alex Snodgrass is redefining comfort food in her new cookbook. She joins us with a taste of The Comfortable Kitchen, 105 laid back, healthy and wholesome recipes. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. So good to see you all. So we want to you. know about this book and what do you mean when you say you're redefining comfort food? Okay, so this is my second book. My first book was a Whole30 endorsed book. It was called The Defined Dish after my blog. And this is really an extension of that. I feel like as a Texas Southern woman, I have a lot of cozy recipes that focus on wholesome ingredients. And this book is filled with that something that's really satisfying um, and cozy and comforting. I already said that, but, um, <laughs> but that um, is really healthy too for to feed you and your family. Great. So let's get to some of your recipes uh, in the book. We'll start with your salmon fish taco bowls. Yes. Yeah, so this is one that my whole family loves. I love doing a build your own bowl night because the whole family can kind of pick and choose what they want to put in their bowl. And this bowl um, has a delicious like taco seasoned and seared salmon with a, a jalapeno cilantro dressing on top. And then from there, people can add rice, avocado, and then some greens and cabbage as well, if you want to do that. Um, and again, my family loves this one because we can all build it to mm -hmm. the way that we want our bowls built. So I that's a big that. family favorite here. Um, so that's one of them. What about uh, the paleo lemon chicken? That sounds good. Yes. Okay, another fan favorite. Um, this is a really great take on takeout. Um, it's definitely inspired by orange chicken, but I use lemon instead here. It gives it a really bright, delicious flavor, and it's so savory. Um, it is grain-free and paleo-friendly. It could also be Whole30 compliant as well if you want to omit the rice and maybe just add a vegetable in there. So this is a really good one, all done in one skillet that we love as well. Yeah, another one skillet dish you have is your one pot Cajun chicken pasta, which, which sounds so yummy. Yes, okay, so I just finished making this one here and I love a one pot meal. I don't think anyone doesn't love a one pot meal. And this is inspired, growing up, I always ate at Chili's Bar and Grill up here in Texas, and I always got their Cajun chicken pasta. It was so filling, so creamy, and so delicious. And so I've kind of redefined it in my kitchen, doing a one pot meal, focusing on more wholesome ingredients. And the end result is phenomenal. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. You can omit the cayenne if you're feeding some younger palates, but um, this is definitely one of the fan favorites in the book for sure. And finally, you have birthday cake blondies. Yes, okay. Um, this is a take on a blonde blondie filled with all the ingredients that you want in a birthday cake. So it's got some dairy-free white chocolate chips. This is a grain-free and gluten-free dessert. And again, this is all made in one bowl. Put it in the pan, bake it off. Super simple to make. I think it comes together in less than 30 minutes. And it's got the sprinkles on top, which everyone loves and are super festive. You're right. Thanks so much, Alex. Congratulations on your new book. Again, the book is called The Comfortable Kitchen, 105 Laid-Back, Healthy, and Wholesome Recipes. For more, you can go to thedefineddish.com. You can also follow Alex on Instagram. Thanks again.